गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंफिनिट ट्रेड माय नेम इज रॉबिन एंड लेट्स डू अ निफ्टी एंड बैंक निफ्टी एनालिसिस फॉर टुमारो सो लाइक वी डिस्कस यस्टरडे इन द वीडियो वी एक्सपेक्टेड अ ग्रीन कैंडल इन निफ्टी टुडे आफ्टर द नाइन कंटीन्यूअस रेड कैंडल्स एंड दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंड इन द मार्केट टुडे बोथ निफ्टी एंड बैंक निफ्टी एंडेड अप बीइंग ऑन द बुलिश साइड एंड अ गुड रिकवरी we did see from nifty today okay so market exactly moving as per uh, the plan that we make so all that we need to do is be focused and be confident uh, in the analysis so that we could take all our trades uh so right now let's quickly check the participant data and we'll discuss how to plan tomorrow since it's an expiry day the expiry day like i always say it's a different game altogether okay so the first thing here uh, what we saw is if as have created about 7082 future longs uh, i was expecting them to close the future shorts however that wasn't visible uh, even during the market hours so they have added some more shorts Uh, about thousand more future shots. Uh, not a very significant number, but at least this number indicates that uh, you know for the temporary up move that is happening in the market, they uh, definitely want to you know secure the loss that happens in the future shots that they have. So for that reason, they have added some longs here. So not an issue. If you look at the options uh, in the call options, they have closed. both uh, you know longs and shorts however the shorts uh, that they close to are more and if you look at puts uh, they have added long as well as shorts so net uh, they have about 6400 put shorts if you look at pros uh, they have put shorts as well as call longs okay so definitely good numbers on the option chain also or the participant data uh, could see that the positions are bullish uh, however we do not see much of a position from fii's in the option side so maybe they'll add them uh, tomorrow during the expiry so again we'll have a dependency of option chain tomorrow on the day of expiry so overall uh, trend is so we still have a lot of future shots in the system right now about 125600 future shots are naked and let's hope that they either book profits in this or may short cover it as soon as possible so that the market keeps on rising upside what is more significant here is uh, vix fell down by 7.3% today okay just one green candle in nifty nifty uh, vix has fallen more than 7.3% so which indicates that you know uh, there is no fear in the market as of now so this is what the vix indicates so the only fear i think we have is the future shots that fi's are carrying so let's see so yeah so now let's understand how do we uh, plan our trade tomorrow so expiry day so i'm just writing what are the things that we need to follow okay so on an expiry day like i always say it is more of a uh, game of round number okay so what all things we have uh, participant data is saying that market is bullish however we need uh, positions from fii's so there will be a dependency of option chain tomorrow so from morning we'll see which side the sellers are aggressive okay but otherwise the trend is uh, slightly bullish and also the data is bullish so these are the levels that we have in bank nifty so 
see whenever i say that round number we have 40500 here and then 41000 on the upside okay so the best trade would be if we get a gap down tomorrow anywhere okay it could be around 40600 or anywhere then we will see 40500 put writers being aggressive okay so in case if we get a gap down opening uh, not more than 100 points or in case if we open flat and we give a dip until say 40600 or something like that so basically until this level that i'm talking about okay so if we get a dip until here then the 40500 put writers will be aggressive and market will try to hold this level and since we are moving on the upside uh, after a long time the momentum is going to be a little low okay but on an expiry day uh, sometimes we see short covering happening and you know we see continuous four five six green candles coming up but the scope for that seems to be a little less because a lot of people have short covered their positions today itself okay, which is clearly visible in the option chain uh, let me just show you so this is the option chain and if you look at the biggest you know the call side mostly everything is in the minus figures that means a lot of people have exited their positions okay so even on a net to net basis the change in open interest on the T side is minus 18,472. So let's see. So what we'll have to keep in mind is in case, uh, imagine we open with a gap up uh, around 40,000, say 800 or 40,900, you know, this area. Uh, we will see 41,000 call writers being aggressive there okay and what uh, put writers will do they'll sell 40,700 40,800 so on and so forth so what happens is in this case if market opens somewhere here slow and steadily it will come down okay it will go up like this it will come down so making swings it will not come down fast but like i always say it is a round number game so we need to say which round number is more closer to us and that side that particular writer will be aggressive okay so if we open flat then it is going to be very confusing tomorrow okay so in that case what we'll do is if we open flat and if we break this particular high immediately uh, we'll go for a call target should be 40,900 and in case if we open flat and we start coming down okay for any reason that is also okay see beyond this point if bank nifty comes it will be difficult for it to again recover from this level but that is okay okay any dip until say if we get around 40,550 we will still go for call trade because we'll see that uh, put writers being aggressive here okay so but only when we see a reversal is when you should trade that and the other thing is we will only get bearish if bank nifty in any case breaks 40,500 and sustains on the downside so when i say sustain we need a follow through closing that itself should be enough for us okay so yeah so overall sentiment is bullish uh, in case of a small gap down, I expect Bank Nifty to move something like this until 40,900, but on a slow and steady basis. Okay, so this is my view on Bank Nifty. Let's quickly check out Nifty. Nifty uh, will have a little problem here because for Nifty, the round number is very near. 17,500 is right here, and we also have a line at 17,500. The closing is around 17,450. So if Nifty opens around 17,500, okay, and for the first five minutes, and if the second five minute candle doesn't 
break the high. That means 17,500. CE writers will become aggressive here and they'll try to push Nifty down to fill the gap. And there is a high possibility Nifty may stay between 17,500 to 17,428. Okay. This is the range where we can expect Nifty to be. So both the indexes tomorrow, I'm expecting uh, it to be a little on a diluted side, uh, not expecting a very trending sort of a momentum tomorrow. Okay, so in case if Nifty opens flat and if it gives a dip to 428, here we'll buy a call. Okay, target we can expect until 17500. And if we open gap up, like I said, we'll look at the option chain and we'll go short for the target of this. And if we open flat and break the high, uh, for me, there is not much of a room. Like, for example, this high is around 460, 470, okay? Then we have immediately 500. So what we can do is if Nifty starts consolidating here and in the second half, it gives a breakout of 17,500, then we can go for a call for an immediate target of 17600 okay so this should be the plan for nifty where do we take bearish trades in nifty right now no don't really plan any bearish trade in nifty because it is in a recovery mode and let it do some recovery bearish only if it comes below 17400 is when it is bearish until there you will definitely see push from the you know, bullish traders so this is my view on nifty and bank nifty for tomorrow and uh, thank you for watching keep that in mind that uh, one of the round level uh, can break okay so that happens during an expiry and that may happen in nifty but in bank nifty it looks a little uh, you know confusing because it is exactly between the two round numbers so it can continue to stay between the two rounds. So thank you for watching. Let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.